Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon 600D and Nikon D5200. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon 600D and the Nikon D5200 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 31st of March 2011 and the 16th of May 2013. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon 600D. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D5200. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon 600D and the Nikon D5200. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon 600D. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D5200. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 600D. The Canon EOS Rebel T3i is an excellent DSLR with high image quality and a range of advanced features. The built-in wireless flash control, Vari Angle LCD, and Full HD movie recording are standout features that make this camera a great investment. The image quality with the kit lens is impressive and the camera performs well in low light conditions. The only drawbacks are the placement of the menu and info buttons and the lack of a dedicated movie record button. Overall, I would highly recommend the T3i to anyone in the market for a DSLR. I struggled with deciding between the T3i and T2i, but I'm glad I chose the T3i for its flip-out screen, which has been great for video. I recommend buying the body only and investing in better lenses. The Canon 50mm 1.8f is a great value, and I suggest researching lenses before purchasing. Overall, the T3i is a great camera for the price. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D5200. I recently switched to the Nikon D5200 after 33 years with Canon, and I couldn't be happier. The image quality is impressive, I can shoot at higher ISO settings, and I love the picture control function for customizing my JPEG shots, the multiple exposure capabilities are a favorite feature of mine. The only downsides are the short battery life and the cheaply made kit lens. I have wanted this camera for 10 years and didn't think it was around anymore, but it was. I used to have a 3200 that I got rid of years ago that I regret to this day. This camera is much better, and I am very pleased with service the company I bought it from, and the camera itself. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon 600D, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D5200, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 